Hello, my name is Vyacheslav Lubchich. I'm glad to present this joint work with Holly Kilborn on testing the Granger causal relationships between the North Atlantic Oscillation and sea surface temperature variability. In this work, we explore the possibility of using high resolution climate archives to test Granger causality between the NAO and SSTs. To do this, we identified lead lag relationships and obtained bootstrap distribution of out of sample statistics for testing Granger causality. Finally, we investigate stronger signals by clustering the paleoclimate time series while accounting for time uncertainty in these records using dynamic time warping. The research by Wills and colleagues finds evidence in models and instrumental observations that the AMOC and SSTs are coupled at different time scales, as shown on the right. We use the paleoclimate data to test these relationships using cross correlations of time series and Granger causality tests. For this research, the data were selected using the following criteria among the best available data sets. The paleoclimate records, nevertheless, presented several challenges with the time series being of different um, time resolutions, different lengths, unequally spaced, non stationary and also with associated time uncertainty. The methods we used included detrending the data using 200 year loss functions. We developed a cross correlation function with the C bootstrap to account for auto correlation of time series while calculating their cross correlations. We also applied restricted vector auto regressions to include, sorry, to exclude near contemporaneous dependencies between NEO and SSDs. For testing the causality, we use bootstrap versions of the following statistics. The first approach uses differences of squared residuals and fits an OLS regression with just an intercept A and residuals UT. The test statistic MSET can be then used to test the hypothesis. Another statistic considers this to two new variables, the difference and sum of the out of sample errors and the statistic itself can be then the coefficient C of regression or similarly, it's T statistic. Next, we cluster lowest residuals using dynamic time warping, find optimal uh, clusters and repeat steps two and two four on the aggregated proxies with stronger signals. The plot on the left shows cross correlations of NAO and uh, each of the SST series at different lags. And um, uh, the results are show also shown at different latitudes to which the proxies correspond. The circles denote significance after the Benjamin Hookberg adjustment was applied. However, this adjustment is known to be quite conservative. Then we applied down and silhouette indices to select the best method and the number of clusters, which was the hierarchical clustering using the words method uh, that gave us five clusters. The dendrogram shows them. And finally, there is a, an example of cross correlations for the last cluster. Both MSET and MSE correlation statistics detected NAO as a cause of SST in clusters one and three. However, no reverse links were detected. <laughs>